good evening or good afternoon i should say it's probably about 12 o'clock here in arkansas 12 30. uh today you just stopped at evans family homestead don't know why you did but i'm glad you did uh we've got some things going on today uh if you're new to our channel i'm vance and uh we are out here at a, on about 11 acres of a homestead that's been in the family for several generations and uh, we've got llamas and ducks and chickens and uh, turkeys, let's see, rabbits, pigs that we're fixing to get rid of, and goats. So today we're going to be taking this old pop-up camper. Somebody started building a uh, deer hunting rig out of it and we're gonna take all the blackboard off of it, put new board all the way around. We're gonna make a chicken hutch out of it. And I've also got, hold on one second. We can go outside. I've also got we can go outside. a new tool. I got me a post a uh, yeah. T post puller. I'll show you how that works later. You may already know. So, uh, but anyway, hope you enjoy the video and uh, let's see what's going on today. Put them on the burn pile. And bottle them? No, just leave them there. Silly goose, I'm going to burn them.
喝。Huh? I think it's a trailer. What? Somebody's gonna throw it away. Ah, that's a door. Door. Who's trying? Has it? Has it? Oh man, that's not hanging out my nose. Ooh. <laughs> Go eat first, then you come back out. I got all the nails hammered in on this side. I'm gonna we'll go down and get get a few boards from the barn, measure them, cut them, and put them on. See how it starts looking. I think it'll look all right. Uh,
old uh, camper, and he's running. So it has chicken wire around the front, and the rest of it will have boards around it. And well, I'm gonna put boards all around it. That is gonna be the nesting box, and then I'm gonna put the screen doors gonna have uh, that mesh on it. Yeah. We're gonna pressure wash and paint. Uh, look, they're all getting out, but it's a good thing. It's got a place for water like that. So, got three boards up so far, and uh, got a little bit of gaps in there, but, but I've got to go down and get some more boards. I'll try to get two this time and come back down here. It's hard to haul them in my little truck because they're like 21 foot long or something like that, but anyway, fix and do that. I got my grandson helping me over here. He's been, he's done a real good job. Aren't you, Kaiser? What are you doing? Are you hammering all the nails in for me? Okay. I'm taking deep wood out. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, pressure wash it, paint it, make it look good. It won't be a Walker Farm Fam's chicken hutch, but I think it'll work though. Walker Farm Fam did an excellent job on theirs. But, uh, uh, I'm using what I have here at the, at the homestead and uh, I don't think it's gonna be a competition so if it, if it was I'd lose but anyway it's, it's gonna serve its purpose so get me one of those automatic doors but we got this this door I'm gonna put some mesh wire on it for ventilation maybe I'm not sure yet probably so though but uh this is a little TLC but I think we can get it fixed all up and uh that'd be a good place for a door it's already got a hole walk out. Anyway, I'm gonna do that. I'll holler at you in a minute. So, it's day two of the video. Uh, it started raining on me, but uh, it's supposed to rain the rest of the night. But I got a little bit more stuff done yesterday, and uh, I framed me out a window right there, put some screen, some of that wire mesh on it. I'm gonna have wire mesh on the door and that's hopefully gonna bring enough breeze in there and then um, like I say I'm gonna put, put a roost up there on top and then uh, 
I've got that nesting box that I gotta go get. I'm hoping it'll sit right here on this table. This table right here, or the top, whatever you wanna call it. And build me some doors right here where I can just lift them up, check the eggs, and uh, go with it. I think there's a vent right there too that I can open up for vent. But uh, we're gonna, I'm hoping to put some lights and stuff in here and um, I may go with solar. That way I won't have to run, run extension cord or anything. I can just do solar power light. I told you the other day I bought this, yesterday I bought this tool. It's a post hole, T-post puller. I'm not gonna be able to show you how to use it on this video, but uh, maybe in the next video Friday when I get off work. Most of you may, may know already how to use it, but it's pretty cool. If you don't have one and you do a lot of fencing, the T posts and stuff. That's a man, that's a must have. It's about it's about forty five dollars or something like that. Depends on where you get it, but it will save you a lot of headache and a lot of backache. But uh, I've been running around this morning. I had to go pick up some furniture that I bought at the auction, and uh, uh, come back. My wife and uh, son's got stomach bugs. So I've been trying to stay as clear from them. I've already had it, but, and I don't want it again. But I have been trying to take care of my wife the best I can. But uh, I got this furniture the other day at the auction. Pretty good shape. It's queen size. I'm going to get it to... I think we're going to give it to my son and put it in his room when he comes and stays. But, uh, I may have to go get another tarp and cover it up, but I'll go say hi to Cusco real quick in Isma. Y'all get all your feet eat. Y'all get all your food eat. Yeah, look at, look at it on their face. <laughs> we found a feed store. In a local town that uh, sells us real good food and uh, it's good quality it's only like ten dollars a 50 pound bag pretty cheap but it's uh made locally and uh well since we started feeding it to them they love it so well chick you better get covered up Dang. but yeah it's, fixed. it's starting to come down a little bit more I'm going to get my window rolled up here. Get inside so my phone won't get messed up. But uh, I'm going to end the video out. So I can get posted tonight. Y'all be looking at it uh, Wednesday morning sometime. But hey, if y'all haven't subscribed, don't mind going down there and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Helps support our channel. And uh, I'm having trouble keeping that 400 subs. YouTube keeps knocking me out of 400 and uh, I don't know what the deal is but anyway it's aggravating I know I know it's happening to everybody but um, anyway like the video comment let me know where you're from and uh, uh, we'll start working on this chicken hutch our house uh, probably Friday again and uh, hopefully I'll have the nest box out here and uh, we can get it we can get finish getting it boarded up and um, yeah i think everything's going to work out y'all have a good afternoon and uh i'll see you friday y'all stay safe uh, put god first and we'll see you on the next